Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? Well, we're finally getting some nice weather here, and uh, everybody's, um, you know, doing the part to stay safe here. All right. So, um, well, it's uh, spring weather here, and the birds are chirping, the sun is out, and and we also have some news to give you, the subscribers and our audience out there. So, let's go to work, and here we go. Welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, we have some news um, for the world, um, for social media. So I'm going to ask you, what do you have for this week first? Okay, well, <clears throat> YouTube has seen an increase in views on videos that normally wouldn't get views, but due to this pandemic, you know, a lot of people have to stay at home and uh, certain um, jobs can't happen because you know, social distancing, everything. So a lot of people have been watching videos on how to repair their freezer, dishwasher, and other household appliances, as well as uh, learn how to cut the hair while they're at home. So these types of videos haven't seen lots of uh, views normally. They wouldn't get a lot of new resurgence of new videos being popping up of how to cut hair during quarantine, how to fix uh, household appliances. And also churches also have been um, starting to use YouTube for the first time uh, ever where they're uh, broadcasting live uh, services for those who want to uh, attend but attend safely are also doing this too. They're also jumping into this live streaming to still bring congregations together without, you know, get anyone sick or injured due to this pandemic. So that's what Susan Wojcicki has been saying to the media out there. And also because of this too, this time last year, 32 billion minutes viewed on YouTube, which is up from 15 million the same time last year. So YouTube has seen an increase in not only viewership, but also new people using YouTube. Um, well, Tommy, the difference between this year and last year is there's uh, the coronavirus situation and there's a lot of people staying at home and there's a lot of people quarantining but you know uh suzanne is right about uh there's a lot of people during this time that are getting on youtube learning how to uh do what tutorials churches etc i mean you you know somebody may need their car fixed so honestly it's a good thing that uh that YouTube has a lot of viewers out there and a lot of people that are viewing into a lot of channels out there. So uh, basically, um, you're right, this time last year was kind of like, you know, the viewership wasn't coming in because there was no stay at home. Along with this, okay. also educational videos have been on the uptick, especially for children and uh, college courses and stuff. And also, um, since March 20th, they've been doing their best to get rid of videos that are misleading, as in misleading information about the coronavirus, um, about miracle cures, um, people saying, ah, oh, social distance is, isn't that, you know, it's not that important to social distance because it's not really helping anything. So they're doing their best to, as fast as they can, to eliminate that information as well as pushing up the CD stuff uh, right on videos on news channels like ours and other prominent channels out there and make sure that people have that information, the correct information uh, to look at and to downplay and make sure that these channels out there are just, just doing it because they think it's funny. Because whatever the reason is that they're doing their best, but it's not easy because with this, it becomes a lot of responsibility, man, to keep the right information in front of people uh, versus trying to downplay and get rid of the wrong information as fast as they can. I think this is a good thing. It also really shows that 
you can use technology in the way when you need to use it to bring people together, but also to educate people and to really connect the world in a way it's never been connected before. So. Right, I agree. I agree, Tommy. And on this, you hit one point. You got to give out the right accurate information, and because there's a lot said about the coronavirus, about COVID nineteen, you got to give the right information out, not the wrong information. Because you're right, there is a lot of misleading information out there, and so people got to do it right. It's a big responsibility. So if you see videos where people are putting out misleading information, please flag them because there is a thing under the flagging where it says misleading information and that, also, that helps YouTube um, notice these videos faster and they can deal with these channels and you know make sure that they know that they will not be allowed to do this anymore. So what you could do is read about the rest of Tommy's story down in the section down below and uh, go to the article where uh, you know and read much more like Tommy was talking about so uh, moving on Tommy we have Pastor Tony Spell. Pastor Tony Spell is from Mississippi and I'm sure you've heard of uh, Tony of uh, having his church services everybody is going to his church services and he's not taking the social distance seriously he's not taking anything seriously about the coronavirus he's been pulling a no-no because in the state of mississippi right now you're supposed to have social distancing and there's no big things that are supposed to be going on or open such as churches Tony Spell was just released from prison this morning for um, paying a bond of $5,000. He's gotten in some serious trouble for having people go to his church on Sundays, like I said. And he's not thinking about the whole, this is not a good idea. They are monitoring Pastor Tony Spell very seriously. So if he does go back uh, to church with and have everybody there, um, there's, they're going to take a lot more measurements over this. Yeah, I agree that you um, shouldn't be encouraging people to show up in places if you're not going to, if the, one, that's supposed to be open, and two, if they are allowed to be open and you're not, you know, observing proper social distancing or wearing uh, at least a bandana if you don't have money for a mask or whatever, or you don't have the capability to make a mask. The, yes, you, there should be consequences. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't have the right to put other people's life at risk because you don't believe something is real or is not as bad as, you, as, you, as it's claimed to be by out there by the people who really know what's really going on. Exactly. And plus, you know, Tommy, you have to think about that. A lot of people already from, since coronavirus is so catchable, you can get it within a few days and you can actually die from it seeing it firsthand you know, Tony's spell is putting people at risk because he's not really thinking about the people he's kind of thinking about mm, let's see how much church service I can get a, get let's see how many people can come into the church and basically um, attend church service and so I don't think that's so good and he should think about the people and I think that he's not being very careful he should take a lot in consideration with the coronavirus so um if someone is saying hey come here when there's something like when there's uh recommendations not to come then you kind of know that you gotta kind of think what's this person's real motives it's like um the governor of georgia saying oh restaurants can reopen as long as they uh if they adhere to the social distancing guidelines well that's good enough but if you you got to eat and you can't just eat through the mask. No, you have to take the mask off. And then you got, even if you have someone six feet away from you, there's air conditioning in um, these places, especially churches in the South, you know, because the weather's a lot warmer there than it is up North. So you got the air circulating. And so just because you have people a distance away and they're required to wear a mask, even like from server to server, eventually that mask got to come off because you got to eat and you can't eat with a mask on. So it's like that. Right, you know, it's kind of like Florida because people are at the Florida beaches right now. 
are going to the beaches and they're going to enjoy the beach and people there in Florida aren't thinking about social distancing. All they want is out because they're tired of being at home or locked down. And so basically when you do that, um, you're not really thinking about the safety of other people. And, you know, if the rest of us are on lockdown right now, um, I can't fly anywhere for my job or I can't go anywhere for this job. We're, we're filming from home, right? So that they're not really thinking about that. Right, Tommy? Yeah. And um, for YouTubers that, you know, or people who are the job is to film videos, most of these people have had, you know, have home studios or physical studios they create like Philip DeFranco and many others, but they, but they know the majority of them uh, have worked at home for a lot of their career. So they, they, this is nothing new to them to where some people, it is new to work at home and they're getting so, you know, you know, cabin fever is starting to hit them. And so it's also not just the beaches in Florida, also just recently uh, heard that there are some beaches in California that um, people were al allowed to um, go to. They said that, quote, quote, they were social distancing, but from the, the videos I saw, there were some people that were pretty close together. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. And I mean, there are a lot of people, just like New York, I mean, uh, they've opened up some of the parks in New York to where people aren't really social distancing. They're just like, yeah, whatever. And I understand cabin fever, but until the whole lift home is uh, lifted, there's nothing that we can do about it whatsoever. Also, does it help that our government, also when people are, you know, trapped, feel like they're trapped with everything, now they're, you know, also calling for firing Fauci. And then they also demoted the guy who was the head of research for a vaccine. Yes, that's right. He's been demoted in the government simply for just, uh, being right and t and speaking the truth and this guy was the head of the whole team that was in charge of looking for a vaccine which is really the thing that needs to happen in order for us to move even move forward in the future absolutely i agree with you tommy so yes that does need to happen so we can move forward have that vaccine get it out to people but you know a vaccine could be well into play right now because it takes a year usually and so we'll keep you guys updated about that so so that's all the news that we have right now you could read much more down on the description down below what's uh, my story from tmz tommy's story and we'll keep you guys updated we will have more for you this week as well so uh is that it tommy uh don't forget to subscribe give us a like and ring that bell so you'll be notified when we post another video thanks for watching We'll see you guys later, and uh, this one's been a top level media. Keep yourself safe. All right, bye guys. Bye.